Right, here's a view from uh, Peg 12. And uh, see if we can zoom in on these sticks. It's a bit bright. So I don't know how good you can see that. See so about what? How far away is that? About uh, 60 foot? This is peg 12. Let's take you along here. Look at this. Watch this now. First time I've been on this peg for about six months. Peg 13. <laughs> My peg. Now, if you're lucky enough to draw this peg in match, well, I better not tell you. But you've got lots of features. Keep your eye on the sticks. There is a big gap in the sticks over there. So if you are tempted, go for them. That will give you a bit of breathing space if you shoot it over there. If you shoot it in front of you, you can see it's very snaggy. Now what you'll see a lot when you get here on Saturday is a lot of the sticks will be moving. Right? Don't be tempted to go into them because the chances are you won't get them back. Now the thing with this side as well, I'm now still on peg 13, is you've got a lot of features as well like this thing. I, I can't see how well you're seeing this because it's sunny. You know, a lot of features. Now this is peg 13 as I said now. Down there, we'll take a look down in a second. That very far bush, the furthest one on this side, past the guy with the brolly, keep going. The last bush you can see there, that's our first peg. That'll be peg five, I'll take you down there in a sec. Let's have a look around here. More features, you see. Now, compared to the other side, lots to choose from here. Now, this is the last peg on this side, this is peg 14. And again, there's your sticks. Oh, I could be wrong. This isn't actually pegged out. Um, I don't think this is peg 15. I could be wrong. It's not pegged out. I have fished here before. Once or twice. Now, this peg will be left in the match. Again, I can't see how bright this is. I don't know what you're seeing. But this peg here... Whoa, I broke my fucking neck. Now, that peg there... Let's see if I can zoom in on this one. That one there is going to be left out as will the same peg over there, just near the bushes. The camera get right. That peg there, that one will be left out. And the reason why is if you sat on this peg and you're shooting out and the guy on this one, I really can't see what you're seeing, if this guy shoots out, you can see you get crossed. So that peg's being left out. And the first one over there on the far side is being left out as well. As is peg 11, uh, which is the one next to me. We'll take you down and show you that in a second. I'll just stop the video off left out as well. Again, if you ever fish here, this is probably the furthest away from the sticks on this side. If you fish here, don't be tempted to get out. Now, the reason this peg's being left out is, again, even though it doesn't look like it, if you fire out halfway there, you're immediately in the swim of peg 12 and peg 10. It doesn't look like it, but I've seen some arguments on here because it's at an angle. This is tucked in. So the guys on the left and the guys on the right, they shoot directly in front of them and you seem to be in the swim. So if you ever, if it's a busy day and you draw peg 11, don't go shooting out there, you'll get into all types of arguments. It's not really that good anyway. You want to be looking at places like this. It's about three foot deep. And you want to be getting some bottom baits in there just off the bottom. Now a little secret on peg 11. If you ever fish here, get your baits around the bush and get it in here. Now that's where the real big fish hang out. They'll take a lot of surface baits in there. So I'll just show you where you are from your peg. This will be where your peg is. Okay. And you don't want to be, you fish this side of bushes all right, but you want to be over the top there. Just get a ledger, a swing tip, quiver, just throw it around the corner, ping it around the corner. That's where you want to be. That's peg 11. This peg 11 being left out. That's three pegs.